I'm vlogging, it's boring, I'm playing. 2020 is weird. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How art thou? Tonight, I'm going ghost hunting. I'm very excited about it, kind of nervous, but I got a bunch of cool ghost hunting tools for my friend Adam who I met when I would go tour in Provincetown I'm talking like eight nine ten years ago and he's on a show called Ghost Hunters and he's a professional and so he sent me a bunch of stuff and I want to use it so I'm forcing my sister and Corey to go with me so I'm very excited about that but other than that I need to get dressed because I'm still wearing pajamas so I'm gonna go with a really go-to cute outfit of the day. You guys won't even believe what it is. It's so cute, so trendy, so fun, so flirty, so fresh. Here we go. It's my own merch. You can get it on my shop. Oh, it's just right there in my nose. Putting on this shirt reminded me of a story that I wanted to tell you the other day and then I forgot to tell you, so I'm gonna tell it to you now. Also, people have been saying I look better with a middle part and I feel like I look like one of those dogs with really long hair. They're like, I think they're like poodly type of dogs. I just feel like it makes my face look longer and grosser. So this shirt, women are incredible. I love this piece from my merch line because I am a feminist. And by the way, feminist doesn't mean anything crazy. It just means that I think women and men should be treated equally. I hate when people are like, oh, are you one of those feminists? It's like, yes, what's wrong with being a feminist that I want equality? Like what you're talking about? Anyway, so this shirt I love because I think women are incredible. I think that women aren't told they are incredible enough. And I think women are talked down to and belittled and taught they are less than from birth essentially. <laughs> And if you don't believe that, you should do your research because it's actually true. We are taxed more than men. We are paid less than men. We are treated less than men. We are abused by men, by men, by men. I think the more female empowerment, uh, the better in our world. So. That being said, I got this shirt because as someone who has been affected very negatively by men in my past and have felt less than not important, not good enough, not talented, not pretty enough, not smart enough, I've felt all of those things because of things that men have told me in my past and ways men have treated me in my past. I'm a little bit scared of men in general. <laughs> I'm very scared of men in general. Men really, really make me uncomfortable. And I'm not saying all men, I know they're wonderful men. For example, my husband, my best friend, my dad, my brothers. I know a lot of really, really, really incredible men. But because I've been hurt so much by men in my past, when I meet a man for the first time, a straight man or someone who seems straight, I'm typically pretty scared and uncomfortable and nervous and think they're gonna hurt me or whatever. I got this shirt because I wanted to empower myself and empower other women around me and I always get compliments on it. I wanna know if any of you have this, if you experience the same thing, but every time I wear this shirt out, someone comments on it. Someone Someone is like, I love your shirt, that's so great. Yes, women are amazing, I agree with your shirt. You know, people are always really nice. Well, the other day, I was wearing my shirt and I went to the local farm. We don't go out at all, but when we do go out, it's like we go through the drive through at Starbucks or we go to our local farm where there's not really any people there. And so I went to the farm, and I got my vegetables and I was waiting six feet apart from the register. So there's a guy behind the register and he goes, I like your shirt, I agree with your shirt. I said, thank you. He said, women are very incredible. And I said, thank you. And he goes, you're incredible. I said, thank you. And at first I was like, oh cool, he likes my shirt. And then he wouldn't stop. And some of you might think he was just being nice, but I'm telling you the tone in which he was talking to me was not just someone being nice. It was very forward and anyway, I'm wearing a mask, he's wearing a mask. I'm saying that because the only thing he could compliment me on was my eyes. You have beautiful eyes, how are you today? Beautiful, I've missed you. How come you don't come around here anymore? I've never seen this man in my life. I literally don't know who he is. I go to that farm a lot, but I don't like memorize everyone's face. So I was like, oh, you know, COVID. And he was like, you should come around more often. You're so beautiful. I immediately I felt uncomfortable. I immediately felt scared. The way he was doing it was like forward and and in my opinion creepy, made me uncomfortable and he didn't stop. Like it was like continuously like just too much. And I got so sad that I wear this shirt to empower myself and make me feel strong and make women around me feel strong and incredible. And in wearing this shirt, this man used this shirt that's supposed to empower me to make me feel scared. <laughs> And I know a lot of people are just gonna be like, oh, he's just complimenting you, what men can't compliment girls anymore? Like, no, it wasn't just a compliment. Like, he, the way he was doing it, and girls out there will know what I'm talking about, at least the majority of girls
girls I think will it was uncomfortable and I was not giving off any vibe of like yes please give me compliments I stopped responding you know and I was clearly getting more and more uncomfortable then I thought okay is he gonna watch me walk away is he gonna watch me go to my car I immediately thought where's Eric Eric was there with Flynn like um, somewhere else like further away and I was looking for him because I wanted him to be next to me because I was uncomfortable and it made me so sad that this shirt I feel like I'm like deterring anyone from buying this shirt but this shirt is supposed to empower me and in turn it just started out made a conversation starter for a guy to be creepy to me and I know a bunch of people are gonna say that he was just being nice and you're allowed to have that opinion and I'm allowed to tell you how I felt in the moment and how I felt in the moment was he was making me very uncomfortable and that's not the first time that has happened one time I was at CVS and I was checking out and this old man came up to me and he was like this was recent it was like the beginning of quarantine he came up to me and was like oh you're you're really masked up I was wearing an N95 and gloves and all the stuff I brought my own bags was being very careful and he said do you need a job and I said no thank you and he said well we're hiring here and we'd, we'd love someone like you who takes all these precautions and I was like no I'm good thank you I have a job and he goes well what do you do and I go I'm just very busy woman a lot of things going on he goes well you should work for us and I go no thank you I have a job and then he goes what's your cell phone number give me your number and he walked up like close to me and not six feet apart and I was like uh, no thank you I already have a job I'm good he's like no just give me your number I would love a sweet lady like you working here give me your and he had his cell phone like harassing me asking me for my phone number this is like an older gentleman and I know that that is not how you apply for a job is by some old man coming up to you who wasn't in the work uniform like he didn't I don't even think he worked at CBS asking me for my number harassing me and the whole time he was doing this I was thinking where's Eric I wish Eric was next to me because Eric was out in the car waiting and it got me thinking stuff like this happens all the time with women where men just make you feel uncomfortable if I'm I don't walk outside alone at dark yet when it's night outside I if I'm walking to my car in a garage I've got my keys ready to jack your face in if any man is approaching me I think what does he want if a man talks to me even if it's just like hey how are you I'm like why did he say that what does he want what's he gonna do to me how long has he been watching me like I'm very scared <laughs> The point is this, it's so sad to me that me showing signs and verbally giving signs of like, I'm not interested in talking to you, please leave me alone. Like, no thank you, no thank you, that's enough. Or completely ignoring, shutting down, making all the obvious signs like, hey, please stop. And men don't stop. And my thought is, oh, if only Eric were next to me, they would stop. And it makes me so sad because even before I was with Eric, back in the days when I was single many years ago, anyone ever said anything to me, even slightly flirty, I would say I have a boyfriend even when I did it because men respect men even if they're an imaginary boyfriend or my husband who's not even next to me they'll respect a man's property over the woman saying like hey please stop or I'm uncomfortable or no thank you or shutting down that they can't respect there's no like oh you know what maybe I should back off but if a man was next to me my husband was next to me they wouldn't do that because they would respect him but they don't respect me I just want to open up that conversation I'm sure it's gonna start a bunch of fights in the comments please try to be kind below and just helpful in conversation i just wanted to bring that up because i feel like that's weird that girl's instinct when a guy won't leave them to alone is to say like i have a boyfriend or i have a husband or my husband's here to say like i'm taken because a man will respect another man over he would respect a woman right in front of his face trying to say like stop i'm not right to anybody else or is that just me it could just be me and my issues that i've dealt with in my past and whatever and that's totally fine if that's true too because i'm not saying that men are all gross and bad because they're not that i know a lot of one wonderful men. I think men can be incredible and helpful and sweet and kind and smart and just amazing and respectful and men can be awesome. Men can be so awesome, but men can also be really horrible. <laughs> and so anyway, I don't want anyone to misinterpret what I'm saying to be like all men are scum because they're not. My husband's amazing. My dad's amazing. Corey's amazing. My brother's amazing. My son is amazing. There's so many amazing men in, in this world. Um, there's also just a lot of not. I just talked for a long time. I'm um, gonna go. We got a huge toy in the P.O. box today. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, we got a bunch of stuff in the P.O. box today, but this is one, so the boys are building it. Moose is my little sidekick. We also got this awesome sign that someone made for him, which is so cute. So thank you, there's no letter with the... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> There's no letter with this one. Um, but thank you to anyone who sends us stuff to B.O. Box. It's very, very unnecessary, very, very sweet, and Flynn is obviously spoiled rotten because of us, but also because of you guys. Um, whoa! Yeah, I know. Good job, Flynn. Very helpful.
Whoa. Okay guys, Tia just posted something on Instagram. I wanna read it to you. She posted a picture and said, I feel selfish asking, but you are my tribe. The doctor came in tonight and she said, my pneumonia looks worse, my kidneys don't look better, and the rendezvous medicine they tried on my COVID didn't even touch it. I'll get back to that. My oxygen is now permanent. High fevers are daily and nightly. My numbers are all still really low, meaning my immune system is 0.0, .0. no place to fight. I don't know what else to say. Prayers, prayers. I almost feel selfish asking for more prayers for myself when there's so many other things going on in the world. But then I remember I'm worth the prayers for my five beautiful kids who need their mama. Prayers for my husband that needs me too. Prayers are miracle workers, I still believe. If you're the praying type or whatever higher God, I ask you to include my name, will ya? Love you all more than you know. Thank you for coming this far with us on this journey and many more miracles are waiting. If you pray, pray. If you send good vibes, whatever you do, send love and support towards her because she girl the president tweeted right before i saw that that he had covid and he's feeling better than he has in 20 years because of the medicine that they have and no one should be scared of covid and you shouldn't like control your life don't be scared of it because there's medicine that you can get first of all the medicine that he got is inaccessible to us uh, regular americans it's also the medicine that she is talking about she's on that isn't doing anything for COVID. She said straight up, it's not doing anything for her COVID. It, did, the, it didn't, and her system didn't even touch the COVID. I'm wearing my mask, not for me. I'm staying in my house, not for me. I'm doing it for other people, like my mother, who gets pneumonia the second she even slightly gets sick. She's horrible asthma, her lungs are garbage, and if she caught COVID, it would hurt her permanently. I'm being responsible, and I'm being scared of COVID because I could spread it to someone else and hurt them, like Tia. Please take it seriously. Please wear your mask. Please don't listen to our president who is lying and saying that we shouldn't be scared of it and it's not a big deal and we have all the medicine to deal with it if you get it. It's not true and it's, it's very serious. We need to take this seriously. Please wear your masks. Please wash your hands. Please don't go anywhere. If you can, please practice social distancing. Please be safe, not for yourself. If you think you're invincible, that's fine and that's totally fair. Maybe you are, but other people are not and it's really dangerous for other people to get it. So be considerate and kind. Be considerate and kind. And think about other people other than yourself. Cynthia, love and prayers. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that. Hey girl. So, whoa. Um, ghost hunting tonight was so fun. <laughs> so spooky, so crazy. It looks like Flynn's been playing with my camera, hold on. I cannot wait for you guys to see this video. We were screaming and freaking out. It was so fun. Such a fun, crazy, scary experience. Um, so I can't wait for you guys to see that video. I have so many things on my mind. One, um, when we were camping, you guys know our camping trip got interrupted because of Eric had auditions and then callbacks and then he eventually booked this gig and it starts shooting very soon. So that's something exciting that's going on. <laughs> but also I have all these fun video ideas I'm excited to shoot this month. I'm so sleepy, so I'm gonna try to get some rest. I love you guys, and um, I hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever time of day it is, whatever day it is. Uh, I hope you're staying safe and kind, and wear a mask, respect other people around you during the really scary times that we're living in. Spread kindness and happiness where you can, because this world is pretty grim right now. Love ya, I'll see you tomorrow. Tonight, you guys, or six, right before